For many home recording enthusiasts, a spectrum analyzer might seem like nothing more than an elaborate level meter without much purpose. And it really is just an elaborate level meter, but hardly without purpose. A spectrum analyzer can be an essential tool in any mastering project, and even on individual tracks. I'll give you an example of how I like to use the Vox & Go spectrum analyzer that comes with Mixcraft. First I'll put an instance of it on the master track, bring up the interface, and then solo each track and watch the analyzer to see how each instrument is doing. I find that this is much quicker than adding an instance to every track. So I'll play a little bit of this track for you. Now that's on the master track with nothing soloed, so I'm hearing the entire song. So I'm assuming in this project that I've uh, already mixed everything and I'm down to the mastering procedures. And I hear a boxy low end right around this area. You can see that that's where the peak is for the, uh, the low end. So we're peaking about right there. So I'm going to assume that that's the boxy frequency I'm hearing that I want to get rid of. Next I'll play it again and then solo each submix track over here and see which one is still producing that low end when it's running by itself. It's not that one. That kick drum is producing low end right around here. So we'll try... Well, I don't think it's going to be the toms because uh, they're not playing constantly. Let's try the overheads. Nope. Not there. And there we go. Okay, so it's in the guitar submix. And my guess it's going to be the uh, bass guitar. Now, without the bass guitar, this falls. So now, I'm going to put an equalizer on the bass track, which I've already got one. Pull that up. Play the track, and when I play this, you can see that that's around 125, 160 hertz. So we'll go over to the equalizer. pull those down. Now you can see that if I deactivate this EQ, my bad boxy sound jumps back up graphically here. Reactivate it and it smooths out. So we'll play that with the rest of the track. Yep, that was definitely the frequency that was bothering me. So you can see that the spectrum analyzer helps me determine what frequency it is that I'm hearing that I dislike. So now that we've gotten rid of that annoying low end frequency, we'll close this submix track and go up here and check out what it looks like on the entire master. As you can see, we've got a nice flat gradual curve off on the, the high end over here. And that's, that's kind of a mastering industry standard is the uh, 
gradual taper over on the uh, high end side and the low end side. But the rest of it you want to try to keep it as straight and smooth as you can. If you've got something peaking then you need to use the technique I just showed you and go find what's causing the peaking and remove it. In the same respect, if you've got a uh, major dip somewhere, you need to go figure out where that is, what's not doing its job, what frequencies you might need to add to guitars or vocals or whatever that uh, is not there and, and should be. Another thing I like to use a spectrum analyzer for is I set the uh, channel display for left and right. So let's go back to this guitar submix and go down and solo the two rhythm guitars and play that a little bit. You can see left and right represented by blue and red. Now if I play just the right side guitar you can see that the red line jumps up. And it is coming through on both sides because I don't have this panned completely to the right, it's 36%. But if I switch those can see that the blue line jumps up higher. And when running those together, that gives me a good idea of not only the levels, are the levels fairly equal, but it also tells me uh, which frequencies one of the guitars might be using more than the other guitar, or allows me to compare the two. You can see that the right guitar has more low end in it. Than the left guitar does. But just slightly. If those were uh, ridiculously separate, then I might want to go tweak my guitar equalizing. So I hope that helps you understand the Spectrum Analyzer a little bit better and allows you to use it in your mastering and mixing projects. Thanks for watching, and thanks for using Mixcraft.